Okay, this is the water heater video, and we are in the kitchen pantry in the laundry area, and I cannot find a data plate for the clothes dryer. I can find a data plate for the clothes washer. I understand that they do not convey, but it's good to know. Good to know. While we're here, you know, hot and cold is not labeled. No GSCI in the laundry, huh? Not surprised by that. Over here. Well, we're talking about water heaters. We have right here, what we're looking at is a 38 gallon tank. A state industry, so I'm going to have to find the serial number on this, but I think it was probably manufactured. I don't know. I'm going out on the limb here. In 2019, I'm going to have to go home and uh, cross-reference that. So let's just say we got a 40 gallon water heater tank, 38 gallons. It's a few years old. Doesn't seem like it's that old. And uh, I might get another clue about the age up here. Keep trying. Okay, well, let's talk for about a little bit. We don't have an electric service disconnect for the water heater, nor is an electric service disconnect required if you can have the circuit breaker within sight of the water heater. So just because you don't have one doesn't mean that you necessarily are supposed to have one or should have one. All right, the water supply line. This is the water supply line that shuts the water off to the tank. It comes up, this is the care use manual. It comes up here to the tank, and you can see here at the top of the tanks, uh, we do not have insulation on the water supply lines. Okay, we do not have insulation on those. Also, this is the temperature pressure relief valve, and it's supposed to be insulated as well, and we do not have insulation on that. Now, a lot of home inspectors will say, hey, this flexible stuff, that's, uh, that's against code, and it's not. There isn't a code against the flexible stuff. The flexible connector to the TMP drain line is not the issue. The issue is that this particular style of connector is threaded. Okay, they had to put a nipple on there and they threaded it on there. You cannot have threads. That's where the code will trip you up, right there. Now I know nobody's going to disconnect that and then cap it off. That's what it, that's basically what it's for. That's what it's for. So we don't have, okay, our TMP drain line is, is not insulated and not properly threaded. Also, the pitcher pressure relief valve drain line is supposed to have an air gap in the same city of Dallas. City of Dallas and the International Residential Code. City of Dallas says that you're supposed to have an air gap in the same room with the temperature pressure relief valve. And we don't have one of those. One thing I can't tell you is beyond the scope. We're in a multi-housing situation as I do not know where the temperature pressure relief valve discharges to. Uh, the safety pan is plumb. That's a good thing. Wherever it goes, it goes to wherever it is that it's supposed to go. And we already mentioned that we've got a care and use manual. There's a receptacle outlet right there. Have another one down here. Got the light. What do you have this light on? Maybe, maybe people would appreciate that. Maybe you can see a little better video there. I forgot what this goes on. There we go. Look a little better? Okay, Karen, use me or do not know where the TMP discharges to. Your TMP has flexible ends. TMP is not insulated. Water supply lines are not insulated. 38 gallons. 